Welcome to the Board Game Network. This is James. I'm going to be explaining how to play this game called Unusual Suspects. Yeah, this is put out by Cool Mini or Not, and it plays with 3 to 16 players in about 20 minutes. Uh, it says 14 years and up. It's very, very similar to Code Names. If you've played Code Names, except for instead of you having words out here, you've got pictures of people and so you are one person is the witness one of these people are guilty out here one of uh, one of the players is a witness and everybody else is on the other is on the team trying to decipher who the guilty person is and so you just shuffle up all the the people cards here the suspects deal out 12 like this and then you shuffle this deck here, and all it is is the numbers 1 through 12 with one of them circled. So that's the guilty party. And so the witness, he's going to shuffle that and look at what, you know, draw one of those cards and see which one's the guilty player. In this case, it'd be this guy. He does not show anybody else. And he starts flipping up cards. And we have to get the yes and the no cards out of this. So the red X is a no, and the green check marks is a yes. And so you flip up a card here, and there's questions on it. And all the witness says is, do they put up a Christmas tree? So I would look at this guy and go, well, does this guy put up a Christmas tree? You know, he's, he's a middle-aged or an older man. Sometimes you read these questions, you go, are you talking about does he physically put them up or is it up in his house or whatever? But you cannot say anything. All you do is you put this card by either the yes or the no. And I'd say, you know, middle-aged person, a little bit older, they probably have a tree in their house. He probably helps put it up maybe. So I'll say yes, he, uh, he puts up a Christmas tree. And so then the other people will look around and go, you know what? And they have to pick at least one card, at least one, but they can pick as many as they want and say, you know what? This guy here, he doesn't really look like he would have a Christmas tree up. So we're going to pick him. We are going to pick, I don't know, you know, this guy, this motorcycle dude, he probably doesn't have a Christmas tree. And so you pick up, you pick, and you have to pick at least one, and you take those off, and then you score, and if you eliminated a guilty party, if you pick the wrong person, then the game's over and you lose. If you did not pick a guilty party, you look at, at your score sheet, and on round one, it says one times and then how many suspects did you eliminate? Well, in this case we eliminated two suspects. So you'd write the number two in here. And so one times two equals two. And what you're doing is you're calculating how long it's taking you to find the guilty party as a detective. And so each round it gets a lot more time consuming because the second round is times two, third round is times three, fourth is times four, up to 11. You have to, there's only 12 cards, so the most cards you can, uh, most rounds would be 11 if you eliminated one per turn. And then you write the score across here. And then when you eliminate down to one person, then you score up your score. And you're simply comparing this game to the last game, to the pre, to some other game, to see if you did really good or you didn't do so well. And so then you, you know, once you've done that, you go to the next round and you flip up and say, "Do they like Broadway musicals?" Well, you know, I don't know. You know, do you have to be a hipster to like Broadway musicals, or do you have to be rich to like Broadway musicals, or do you have to live in New York City to like Broadway musicals? But the person playing these cards can't say anything. He just puts it down by yes or no. And then the other players, they discuss, well, you know what, maybe you have to be an older person to like them or a younger person or more hip or more rich or more something. And then you eliminate down. 
And so that's the way this game goes. And you just score your total at the end and you go, wow, that took us 54 minutes or whatever. Let's play again and then see if we can do better. There is also a competitive variant to this where you have two different teams and they're competing with each other. Um, and you pick a number of points, like 10 points would be a short game, 15 for a medium, or 20 for a long game. And each card you take off is worth a point. So when you eliminate one team goes, you answer the question, and every both teams are going to have the same card to pick who the guilty player is, the guilty card is, and then one player is going to go and answer a question, and then the next team is going to go and answer your question. So you're going to go back and forth, and at the end of the game, you're going to count up your cards one point per card. Uh, if, you picked a, if you picked the guilty party, uh, you lose all your points for that round. You get zero points, you'll discard all your cards, and then the other player gets, the other team gets three bonus points, and to count their points, they just grab three more cards because that would give them three bonus at the end of the game to, uh, to score up. And if you eliminate down to one player, whoever eliminates down to the last player, that, that team gets a one point bonus by drawing an extra card. And if you, then at the end of the round, if you haven't reached your 10, 15, or 20 points, you simply deal out 12 new cards and play another round until some team gets to the 10, 15, or 20. So that's the way you play Unusual Suspects. And it's a, a great game for if you've got a big group of people and you've got fun type people that chat and try to go, oh, you know, this guy, he, you know, this guy, oh, this lady's got blue hair. You know, what does that really mean? Is she hip or is she, you know, in some kind of gang or, you know, what does that mean? And um, so make sure you tune into all the videos here at the Board Game Network so that you can learn how to play games like Unusual Suspects.